you instantly switch activities when your excitement shifts, perhaps often. Describe in as much detail as possible five minutes of your day. Sure. Well, one thing we'll say is action exists on multiple levels. You have spiritual action, mental action, astral action, etheric action, physical action. When my excitement shifts, this does not mean my physical actions change from one theme to another. Sometimes the spirit actions I'm taking change. Sometimes the mental actions I'm taking change. Sometimes the astral actions that I am taking change. Sometimes the etheric actions that I am taking change. So for example, perhaps I'm piloting my ship in a certain way. And maybe I am feeling a little ambitious and perhaps a little excited. So when I pass a neighboring ship, Maybe I begin to perform tricks and certain, you could say, feats of aviation within the cosmos just to show them my skill and to entertain them, to bring a sense of joy to their heart. Maybe I am tracing the infinity sign, for example, with my ship, or perhaps I am drawing with my ship certain geometric patterns that are designed to communicate messages to see if they respond. That desire to show off, if you will, might look like a completely different action, but it's still a part of the main excitement I'm exploring, which is piloting my ship. So the action may change in its quality. The types of levels of my consciousness that I'm using may change in their quality. But as you can see, I didn't really jump from one action to a separate one, to a totally different one. So when your excitement changes, this doesn't mean you need to drop what you're doing necessarily and do a completely different physical thing. Sometimes when your excitement shifts, it's a matter of readjusting your perspective to see a new way of looking at what you're doing. So feel those different layers of yourself. The crown, this represents that spirit level. Third eye and mid eyebrow, this is the mental level. Heart. This is the astral level, navel center. This is the etheric level and root chakra, perineum, reproductive organs, tailbone. This is the physical level as it relates to the body. So pay attention to your bodies, not just your minds, when you're following your excitement so you can also detect those subtle shifts and changes. Oh, it's more exciting if I look about it this way. Oh, it's more exciting if I feel this way about it. Oh, it's more exciting if I bring spiritual energy into what I'm doing. And just like that, you can take five different actions while appearing to do the same physical thing. And then you'll feel, oh, wow, my physical excitement is changing. Let me now do another perhaps seemingly unrelated physical action that's more representative of my physical expression of excitement.